Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at another Marvel Select figure, and it's the Juggernaut. I absolutely love this figure. Uh, I remember this in the comic book shops, and I passed on it, and I wish I hadn't. Uh, but I came across him and the thing on Amazon.com for $20 each shipped. So I couldn't pass it up. I went ahead and got the two figures. They were just, I loved the Hulk figures so much. I figured I'd go ahead and pick these guys up and see what they were about. Uh, and I'm definitely impressed with it from what I've seen so far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Here we have the Juggernaut in box and I am digging him. I'm liking the sculpt so far. The paint apps look pretty cool. It is very similar to what we've seen with the Incredible Hulk figures. Uh, and this time the coloration in the back is brown, of course, to match Juggernaut, which is this really nice piece of artwork of Juggernaut right here. It says Juggernaut Marvel Select. Very cool stuff. On the side, we get some very creepy artwork of the Juggernaut there. He kind of looks like, I don't know, like a mutant hippo gorilla thing alien, and it's really kind of nightmarish looking. I don't know about that at all. Um, here's the back of the package looking really cool. We got the juggernaut figure here uh, My box had gotten a little wet in transport, but that's okay um, We got a write up here um, We have the other figures in the wave we get the unmasked variant, which is cool Cyclops and then Deadpool So yeah, just kind of a close-up Let you read the Write up if you want to pause you can do this and then there's that and there's the rest of it. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, here are the other figures in the wave, kind of a close-up in the unmasked variant. I really, really do like the detail on that. And the Deadpool figure looks pretty cool too. So yeah, I am super thrilled about this figure. Let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what we think. Here we have the Juggernaut out of package, looking pretty cool. So real fast, let's take a look what he came with. Of course, he is a Marvel licensed product. Um, he's got the, looks like a uh, zombie magneto and cable, um, all that kind of stuff. Bunch of mini mates, crap I don't care for. Um, he comes with this stand piece that, uh, yeah, this is the exact part that came with the Gray Hulk. Um, and it's kind of worthless in the fact that, unlike the Grey Hulk, who could have used it as a, a, a bar to smash things, he has no um, open fists, so you've got to use it for the display thing, which I don't particularly care for. Um, here's the display piece. It's a bunch of smashed ruin. I'm definitely digging that. A little skull there. That's kind of creepy. Um, and then the blast in the background. Um, kind of cool kind of neat but I just I don't use those so they're really kind of pointless to me so throw those off to the side yeah I like the juggernaut he's definitely pretty cool um, again I got him because well the Hulk figures were so cool so large um, I wanted to check him out I remember seeing him at the comic book store and he's definitely cool um, articulation his head does move back and forth but because of the helmet he cannot move it up and down um, his arms do move in and out, they swing, there's a pivot there, he's got an elbow, but his fists do not move, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, he does not have waist, but he does have upper torso movement, which is kind of interesting. He's got uh, ball joints at his uh, hips here. He does have knee articulation and some foot articulation as well. Um, it's not as posable as the Hulk figures or even the Thing figure, but he's definitely pretty cool, and I am digging him a lot. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and compare him to some other figures. Here's the Juggernaut with the Thing side by side, and he is taller and uh, has much bigger fists. Well, I wouldn't say much bigger, but he does have larger fists than the Thing does. Um, it'd definitely be a fun fight to watch, but hey, nothing can stop the Juggernaut. Here's the Juggernaut next to the Grey Hulk, and 
You know, he looks like he beat the living snot out of this version of the Hulk. The only thing that this Hulk has got going for him, he's got an open hand here, which he can hold that little bar piece. Uh, at least he can use his accessory as a weapon, whereas the Juggernaut cannot. But does he really need to with those huge guns and just concrete pounding fists? Here we have the Juggernaut next to the Red Hulk and... I really like this combo together. Both of them are kind of bad guys, and uh, they look good together. The color schemes go really, really well together. I think the Red Hulk's going to probably go near the Juggernaut up on the shelf just because of the aesthetic, and, well, they're two big, badass bad guys. And, of course, here's what it comes down to. It's the Juggernaut versus the Incredible Hulk. Always a great fight in the comic books. I don't think we've seen this one in a while. And, you know, I always remember back in the 80s as a kid, uh, the Hulk just getting madder and madder and madder and just beating the Juggernaut uh, once he just got so super raged out. It was just awesome. Um, definitely cool together. I like them. Um, they are definitely worth the money. You get a lot of toy for what you're paying for. Real quick, we just want to get some close-up shots of the figure itself. Looks really, really nice. I think they did a really good job, like I said, on the uh, sculpt and the paint. Definitely on the paint department with this dude. Um, just super cool, super nice. I am digging him. Um, the boots look really cool. He's even got all the tread underneath. Oh, he's just so, so massively huge. And that head, look at that. I like the inset mask. Um, very, very cool. It looks like it's the same... Uh, face sculpt that we get on the unmasked version, uh, but if you actually look under the helmet, he obviously doesn't have the full face. It's just that front piece. Uh, the rest of the head is not present, but that's okay. It's definitely, definitely a fun figure. So is the Juggernaut a figure that you want in your Marvel collection? Absolutely 100% yes. This figure is huge. It's heavy. It's got a fantastic sculpt, a really great paint job. While the articulation on it is not quite as good as, say, like the Hulk or the Thing, um, it's definitely worth having for your bad guy collection. I just am so impressed with this. And the price point at $20, uh, that's what you're paying for a Hasbro Legends figure right now. It's what you're paying for uh, some of the Transformers figures out right now, which, I mean, they're good toys, but this is so big and heavy and so well sculpted and painted. It's so worth the money. Uh, so there he is, the Juggernaut from Marvel Select. If you guys like this, definitely thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Thank you very much for subscribing and sharing my videos. I really do appreciate that. And as always, look for more videos in the future.